you see. Though, if you were to cut me open, you would see that I bleed the same color blood as thee. But see, the differences on the outside can't compare to the similarities on the inside. Different nationalities and personalities are basically the same. One heart, two lungs, one brain. Back in the day, I would have been slain for saying these words. Hanging with the noose around my neck like I was a piece of trash. Because back then, they didn't put your body in a bag. They left it there as a warning. But I'm a black girl, can't you see? My grandfather was a half-breed, so there is a small part of that massa in me. But see, my mother's skin can be related to two slave dogs. And my father is of a lighter skin tone, gray, and sometimes blue eyes with freckles across his nose. But I'm a black girl, can't you see? My brothers and sisters, can you hear me? Let's get together and lead the way on the road to victory. Writing and signing a letter like Abe Lincoln saying that my people are free to be who they want to be and reach the top without any discriminating. But to fight back would provoke unnecessarily. I thank the people who paved the way, like Martin Luther King. Yeah, I have a dream that we will one day love each other without worrying if we came from the hood or not. Because we started off as rookies on the way to the top. They say teamwork will make the dream work, so why not get together, my brothers and sisters? We are all from one creator. Who's Martin without the Luther or Malcolm without the X? What's the fact without a fiction? What's the future without the past or the history without the text? What's the Bible without God, or better yet, what's a sinner without the forgiveness and blood that Jesus shed? The answer is dead. The more to the story is that there's a foundation for every little thing. There's no healing without the pain. There's no end without a beginning. There's no cure to a disease if the disease is not present. I believe slavery was the beginning for our victory. Now it's time to tend to the books and get an education. It's time to stop blaming the white man for what happened on those plantations. Because without communication, we have nothing. But what can you tell me? I'm just a black girl, can't you see? <laughs>